Making an Occupied Bed Introduction Sometimes patients will not be able to get out of bed to have their linens changed. CNAs must know how to change a patient's sheets even if the patient is unable to leave the bed. To make an occupied bed, you will change the sheets on half the bed and then do the same on the other side. This means that both the clean and dirty sheet will be on the bed at the same time. It is important that the patient not be lying on a bare mattress. Your testing facility may not have side rails on the bed. Because CNAs can work in a variety of settings, including patients' homes and assisted living facilities where side rails will not be available, the CNA must be familiar with how to change sheets safely without side rails. Turning a patient onto their side can pose safety risks as it positions the patient close to the edge of the bed where they may fall. Imagine this patient turning onto his right side. He would then be positioned near the edge of the bed and in danger of falling. For this reason, patients should be asked to scoot their body toward you and roll away from you, toward the center of the bed. This ensures the patient is always lying on their side in the center of the bed with their back toward you. If a patient is unable to move by himself, there are several options the CNA may use. You may move his body in three or four sections by placing both of your arms under his legs and moving them toward you, then his lower torso, then upper torso, then shoulders and head. You can have a coworker assist you in moving the patient. If you do not feel comfortable moving a patient, you should not attempt to move them alone. Back injuries are common among CNAs, and you should know your own strengths and limitations to prevent back injuries. Many facilities utilize a draw sheet to move immobile patients. This is a flat sheet folded in half and placed under the patient's torso and buttocks to help the CNA position the patient. Privacy is important in every skill, but it is very important when performing skills where the patient will be uncovered or undressed. For these skills, we use a privacy blanket, also called a bath blanket, to cover the patient with while we perform the skill. A privacy blanket is placed over the patient's sheet, and the sheet is then pulled down under the blanket to the bottom of the bed, so the blanket is covering the patient instead of the sheet, allowing you to dress or clean the patient easily. The blanket should cover all private areas of the body, such as the breasts and genitals, at all times. The privacy blanket will be removed at the end of the skill and put into the dirty linen hamper. The patient will either need to be recovered with the sheet or completely dressed before removing the privacy blanket. When collecting your clean supplies, take care not to hold them against your uniform. Your uniform is unclean after beginning work, where you lean against patients' beds, touch privacy curtains, etc. Also, do not snap the sheets which will propel bacteria and skin cells from the patient's bed into the air at about the height of your nose and mouth. Do not place dirty sheets onto the floor or onto your clean work surface. Dirty sheets should be placed directly into a dirty linen receptacle. If this is not immediately available, place a barrier onto the floor to put the dirty sheets onto. You will change the patient's bottom sheet by removing the old sheet from the corners of the mattress on the side of the bed you are standing on, rolling the dirty sheet toward the patient and tucking it under him, then placing the clean sheet on the bed, fastening the corners onto the mattress and rolling it toward you, then tucking the clean sheet under the dirty sheet. A great principle to remember is that dirty always rolls away from you and clean always rolls toward you. Make sure the bottom sheet is as free of wrinkles as you can get it. Wrinkles contribute to bed sore formation. After changing the sheets on the first side, you will repeat the process on the other side of the bed, removing the old sheet and securing the new one. Pull the sheet taut to ensure there are minimal wrinkles under the patient. After you have placed the top sheet over the patient, you will secure the bottom of the sheet by making hospital corners. A tip for great hospital corners, make sure the top sheet has been smoothed under the mattress. After making hospital corners, loosen the sheet over the feet by pulling upwards on the sheet. This allows wiggle room for the feet and helps prevent pressure sores. When changing the pillowcase, you cannot put the pillow under your chin. 
Patients have sneezed, coughed, and drooled on that pillow. Use the technique described in the video to put the pillowcase on the pillow. Pillows should be placed on the bed with the opening away from the door to prevent germs in the hallway from settling under the pillowcase onto the pillow. Watch the instructional video for step-by-step -step instructions on how this skill is performed. Then try this skill on your own.